ever find yourself like scrolling through those travel blogs, dreaming about Japan, you know, picturing that perfect bowl of ramen or those like Zen gardens? Totally. But then you remember those airport lines, right? Oh, yeah. Especially at customs. <laughs> yeah. It's like the dream screeches to a halt. But hey, what if I told you Japan's about to flip the script on that whole airport experience? Really? Yeah. Big time. We're diving deep today into some, well, straight up breaking news from Japan's NHK. They're talking about a complete overhaul of how you get into Japan. No way. Seriously. Yeah. No more like scrambling for your landing card on the plane, you know? <laughs> Please. Tell me more. So by the end of March 2025, that's their target. Mm. Narita, Haneda, Kansai, the big airports, they're going full on efficiency mode with entry procedures. Wow. Ambitious. Totally. And we're not just talking about, you know, adding a couple more kiosks here and there. They're aiming for a total revamp. And... Look, you know we love digging into the nitty gritty here, so we're going to break down exactly what this means for, well, you. If you're planning a Japan trip anytime soon, this is basically your crystal ball right here. This is huge EE for Japan. Yeah. I mean, let's face it, their tourism took a real hit post-pandemic. Oh, for sure. Everyone's vying for those travelers' dollars again. This move, it's strategic. It's like, hey, world. We're back and smoother than ever. Right. It's like they're rolling out the red carpet, but like a super efficient high-speed red carpet. Exactly. It's about time, and frankly, it's what travelers want these days. Seamless, stress-free, your trip starts the second you land. Yeah. Music to my ears. But, okay, let's get real. What's this actually going to look like? Are we picturing, like, robots handing us green tea as we waltz through customs? Okay, maybe not robots and tea. Darn. But think, think more like... Schiphol Airport in Amsterdam. Okay. Those automated passport control gates. Yeah. You know, a quick scan, little face recognition action, boom, you're in. See, that's what I'm talking about. No more of that, like, frantic passport flipping while you're sandwiched between a million people. Exactly. This is like actually being able to use that layover time to, like, grab some actual food instead of just stressing. But... And, you know, there's always a but. Of course. Even in Japan, famous for, like, their organization, can they really pull this off without a hitch at that scale? Right, right. I mean, you've got to wonder about the language barrier. <laughs> Automated's great, but what about those folks who don't speak Japanese or English? Totally. You can't rely on everyone being tech savvy either. Right. Exactly. Passport scanners go down, systems crash. Yeah. You need backup. Plus, think about the staff. That's a huge shift for them. Training, yeah. Will they be ready? And honestly... As much as I love the idea of breezing through customs, it all falls apart if my luggage is chilling in Tokyo while I'm in Kyoto, right? Yeah, 100%. <laughs> Japan's got to nail that baggage handling alongside <laughs> everything else. It's like a logistical ballet. Like, seriously. But hey, even with all the, like, potential speed bumps, this is exciting stuff. Less time in airport purgatory means, like, more time exploring those incredible temples and food scenes. Absolutely. That's the dream. It has me thinking, though. If they stick the landing on this, could it actually change how the world sees Japan? Oh, interesting. Like, not just a cool place to visit, but a country that just gets it, you know? Right, like, we value your time. We want you to experience the good stuff, not the airport hassle. Exactly. They'd be setting the bar, maybe forcing other countries to up their game. Who knows? This could be the start of a global airport revolution. Now, that would be something. Right. So much to ponder. Passport ready? Maybe not quite yet, but man, Japan's got us paying attention. For sure. I'm keeping my eye on this one. Me too. Okay, folks, until next time, happy travels. And for now, let's keep dreaming of those ramen bowls. <laughs>